Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Finale. Here are 10 movie mistakes that could have been prevented, but the lead actor threatened to quit if they weren't included in the movie. Number 10, Candy's Bloody Hand, Django Unchained. This scene from Quentin Tarantino's 2012 movie Django Unchained is easily the most notable movie mishap in recent memory. On the off chance you haven't already heard, the blood flowing out of Leonardo DiCaprio's hand in this scene certainly wasn't part of the plan. The moment comes during Calvin Candy's climactic monologue, where the sadistic plantation owner threatens to kill Django's wife right at the dinner table in front of her husband. After already filming a few takes of the monologue, DiCaprio ended up slamming his hand onto the table and shattering a real glass in the process. You yourself said that for the right nigga you- Number 9, Star-Lord drops the Infinity Stone, Guardians of the Galaxy. Much like Robert Downey Jr. playing Iron Man or Ron Perlman playing Hellboy, Chris Pratt was born to be Star-Lord. The actor is funny, charming, and a bit of a goofball, which makes it seem as though his scene from Guardians of the Galaxy wasn't an accident at all. When Star-Lord and the other members of the Guardians are finally introduced to the Collector, Star-Lord offers up the orb that he's taken from the abandoned planet of Morag. Little does he know, it contains an Infinity Stone, one of the most powerful objects in the entire universe. When Pratt presented the artifact, he ended up accidentally dropping the orb to the ground, but without missing a beat, the actor snatched up the orb and represented it as though nothing had happened. It was revealed in the movie's commentary that this was an honest error, but director James Gunn liked to take so much that he decided to leave it in. Number 8, Aragorn's Broken Foot, The Lord of the Rings, The Two. Viggo Mortensen famously became so wrapped up in his portrayal of Aragorn while filming the Lord of the Rings trilogy that he petitioned to perform many of the character's stunts. He was known for keeping his weapon with him at all times, and the film's swordmaster even called the actor the best swordsman he had ever trained. Evidence of this can be seen in the Fellowship of the Ring, when Mortensen deflects a knife thrown at him by an Uruk Hai. This is an actual parry, as the stuntman who threw the knife greatly misjudged his aim and ended up hurling it straight at the actor's face. Number 7, Wesley's Knocked Unconscious, The Princess Bride. The Princess Bride is a movie that the entire family can enjoy together, and quote, endlessly at each other. So it may be a bit surprising that one of the actors was seriously injured during filming, especially considering that it wasn't during one of the film's sword fights. Despite performing many of their own sword stunts, Carrie Elwes and Minnie Paddington came out of each sword fight without any substantial injuries, however Elwes still managed to sustain a serious head injury during the course of filming. No Sailor on the pirate ship Revenge. Promise to return him to his ship. I swear it will be done. Number 6, Pris's Shattered Elbow, Blade Runner. Before the long-awaited sequel to Blade Runner 2049 hits theaters later this year, many will be taking a look back at this 1982 classic. Production on the original Blade Runner was notoriously difficult, with the studio and the director constantly battling over creative control, but there was one incident on set that everyone seemed to agree made the movie better, all at the expense of actress Daryl Hannah. Number 5, Inconsistent Dialogue, Pulp Fiction. Quentin Tarantino is a filmmaking visionary with a flair for pithy dialogue. Those who have worked on his films have said that there is no room for improvising on set, and that as far as the film is concerned, the script is a holy book and Tarantino is God himself. But even with such an eye for detail, Tarantino's movies are not without their flaws. Many have pointed out how the bullet holes in Pulp Fiction appear behind Jules and Vincent before they're ever shot at, and while some fans have swooped in with multiple theories about how this actually makes sense, in this instant it seems like a legitimate flaw. Do you speak it? Yes! Then you know what I'm saying! Yes. Describe what Marcellus Wallace Number 4, 2nd Degree Burns, The Wizard of Oz When the Wicked Witch of the West makes her grand appearance in The Wizard of Oz, she arrives out of nowhere in a plume of red smoke, which is made possible by a trap door on the stage floor. The effect is seamlessly done, and the creepy performance by Margaret Hamilton only makes the special effects seem all that more terrifying. However, when the character takes her leave of Munchkin Land, the red smoke begins to leak out of the floor before the actress takes her place over the trap door. It's a brief mistake, but a mistake nonetheless. The exit is accompanied by an enormous flash of fire as the Wicked Witch seems to disappear right before our eyes. Number 3, Finster's Farts, The Usual Suspects. The Usual Suspect is perfect heist film with drama, action, humor, and as it turns out, flatulence. Though the lineup scene is one of the funniest in the film, it was actually written to be 100% serious. Director Brian Singer even became agitated with the actors for being unable to keep a straight face. But upon rewatching the footage, he decided to recut the scene and go with a funnier version instead. In an interview, actor Kevin Pollack admitted that all the laughing came out of Benicio Del Toro being unable to hold on his gas. Pollack said that the actor kept farting take after take without fail, which explains why not a single actor is able to keep it together throughout the course of the scene, especially when the character of Finster is center stage. And me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. This is really gonna be embarrassing. Number 2, Captain Kirk's Black Eye, Star Trek Beyond. 
In the Star Trek reboot trilogy, Captain Kirk and his fellow crew members aboard the Starship Enterprise find themselves in a far more fist fights than they ever did in the original series. Thus, they spend a good amount of the movies covered in bloody scrapes and purple bruises courtesy of the makeup department. However, after a fight scene gone wrong in Star Trek Beyond, Chris Pine actually got to sport a real injury for a few scenes in the movie. As it turns out, this isn't the first time that Pine was injured on set. A few years prior, the actor broke his finger while throwing a punch in the set of Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit, but in Beyond, it was actually Idris Elba taking a swing at Pine. In an interview, Pine spoke of the fight, saying he was exhausted and sweating and I could see the punch being thrown. I kind of knew instinctually that it was going to hit me, and it did. Instead of covering the black guy with makeup, the filmmakers decided to keep it in the film. As for Elba, he joked that Pine had it coming. Number 1, Saul Silver's Headband, Pineapple Express When many of the actors end up doing their own stunts on a stunner action movie, a number of real-life injuries are inevitable. During the making of Pineapple Express, Seth Rogen fractured his finger during a scene, and Danny McBride's head was split open after a bong was smashed over it. But it was James Franco's injury that ended up altering his character's wardrobe for the remainder of the film. When Dale and Saul are running around the woods in the middle of the night, Franco ended up running into a tree a little too hard and could be seen screaming in agony on the forest ground. The collision required Franco to get a few stitches on his forehead. You should start uh, going down that road. It's yeah, just, I could talk all day about okay. euthanasia. You know, don't get me. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.